hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c minus 4 divided by 3 and its whole square is equals to 1 and we solve this problem for all the values of c uh, here we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so here we move towards our first method and in first method uh, here uh, we just break this square sign and we apply this square sign separately on both of these values and it will be written as c minus 4 whole square divided by 3 square and it is equals to 1 and uh, further in the next step we need to move this 3 square to the right hand side and it will be written as c minus 4 square is equals to 3 square because 3 square multiplied by 1 and it is also becomes 3 square and uh, now here further in the next step we move this 3 square into the left hand side after moving this into the left hand side it will become c minus 4 square minus 3 square and this is equals to 0 and now further in the next step we need uh, to uh, use here the nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so uh, according to this you see here uh, the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b and according to this nice uh, formula we write here our uh, above equation as in this form uh, so first factor is a minus b and the value of a is c minus 4 when we put the values of a and b on both of these factors it will be written as c minus 4 minus the value of b is 3 and uh, the second factor is a plus b the value of a is c minus 4 plus the value of b is 3 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need more simplifications here and we have uh, this is uh, this will become c minus 4 minus 3 becomes 7 into minus 4 plus 3 becomes minus 1 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write c minus 7 equals to 0 and the second case is we write c minus 1 is equals to 0 and from here we easily get the value of c is equals to 7 and from here we easily get the value of c is equals to 1 so these are the two roots of the given equation which we get here from first method uh, and now here uh, we again solve this problem for second method uh, so for this we need to copy down given question statement here the given question statement is c minus 4 divided by 3 and its whole square is equals to 1 this is our given question statement and uh, uh, now here uh, we again solve this problem so in this method uh, we need to remove this uh, square sign so in order to remove this square sign we need to take the square root on both of the sides so when you apply square root on both of the sides it will be written as c minus 4 over 3 whole square and its square root is equals to square root of 1 and uh, further in the next step we need some simplifications here this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here c minus 4 divided by 3 is equals to here we know that uh, the square root of 1 is equals to 1 and here because we apply square root on both of the sides so that we will write here plus minus sign of any one of the sides so we write this into the right hand side uh, and now here we break uh, this value and here we write uh, the positive right hand side it is plus 1 and here uh, we write the negative right hand side and it is minus 1 so here we solve both of these cases and we get the values of c so now first we move this 3 to the right hand side 
and it will becomes c minus 3 is equals to 3 times of 1 becomes 3 and here we move this minus 4 to the right hand side and it will becomes 3 plus 4 so finally we get uh, the first root of the given equation from second method is c is equals to 1 and now we focus on this term and here we move this 3 to the right hand side and it will becomes c minus 4 is equals to 3 times of minus 1 equals minus 3 and here we move this minus 4 to the right hand side and it will becomes minus 3 plus 4 and we get here our c is equals to plus 1 so this is the our uh, second root of the given equation which we get here from second method so on both of these methods we will get here the same roots of the given equation uh, and now here further in the next step we need to verify that uh, is both of roots are solution of the given equation or these two roots are extraneous root so for verification of the roots we need to copy down given question statement here it is c minus 4 divided by 3 and its whole square is equals to 1 this is the our given question statement here we verify the root c is equals to 7 in this side we will be verify the root c is equals to 1 so when we put this value of c into the left hand side it will be written as 7 minus 4 divided by 3 and its whole square is equals to 1 uh, and now here we have uh, this is 7 minus 4 becomes here 3 divided by 3 and its whole square is equals to 1 and you see here this 3 is cancelled out by this 3 and we get here this is 1 square equals to 1 and 1 square equals to 1 equals to 1 this shows that the value of c is equals to 7 is satisfied over a given question statement this is the first solution of the given equation and now we verify c is equals to 1 here we put c is equals to 1 in the left hand side of this equation it will becomes 1 minus 4 over 3 and its whole square is equals to 1 and and now you see here 1 minus 4 becomes a minus 3 divided by 3 and its whole square is equals to 1 this 3 is cancelled out by this 3 and we obtained minus 1 square equals to plus 1 and we know that the square of negative term become positive so we get here 1 is equals to 1. This shows that the second value of c is equals to 1 is also satisfied our given question statement. Uh, so finally we have uh, the solution set of the given question is 7 and 1. So this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.